Hey, Lenny Gill, Life is No Yolk. I absolutely love this dish. It reminds me of holiday dinners at my Auntie Kay and Uncle Bruce's house. It's cheesy, it's hot, it's vegan. This is how we make a decadent cauliflower au gratin. All right, there are three phases to making this cauliflower au gratin. The prep, the cheese, and the bake. The toughest part about the whole recipe is getting your hands on a couple of the ingredients. And you might have to make a special trip to Whole Foods or a local co-op. But you're going to love it so much that you're going to want to have these ingredients on hand. Let's talk about what you're going to need. From the produce section, you're going to need a red pepper, a lemon, and some raw cashews. From the pantry, you're going to need salt, garlic powder, and onion powder. Also from the pantry, but what you might have to make a special trip for, nutritional yeast and tapioca starch, or flour. For the record, nutritional yeast is the secret ingredient to one of my most famous Beloved recipes, cashew queso. I use this stuff at least once a week. In a matter of moments, we're gonna have cheesy, sizzling, crispy deliciousness. Are you ready? I got so excited about this cauliflower au gratin that I forgot about the most important ingredient. Cauliflower. <laughs> the prep. Soak the cashews in water overnight and then drain them. Preheat the oven to 375. Now the cauliflower. We'll rinse it, we'll peel it, and we'll cut it into florets, ideally, that are flat. We'll boil the cauliflower for five minutes, and that, my friends, is the prep. Now for the cheese. We'll add all the things to the blender. The hot water, the lemon juice, the tapioca starch, the nutritional yeast, the raw cashews, the salt, the onion powder, the garlic powder, and if I could only find my knife, Bless you, bless you. Half a red pepper. We'll put the lid on and blend on high for one minute. Now, you do not need a Vitamix for this task, but if you're curious, I'm rocking a 780 with an additional 48 ounce container. Once everything is smooth, Pour the contents into a pot and stir over medium heat for five to seven minutes. Now, if you do have a Vitamix, you can skip this step completely and just blend for an additional three minutes, just like you're making hot soup. That's it for the cheese, now for the bake. Drain the cauliflower, dump it in a bowl, and add the cheese so you can mix it all together. Throw it in something that's oven safe and bake it at 375 for 30 minutes. And just like that, you have steamy, bubbly, dairy-free cauliflower au gratin. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna try it and I'm dying to try it. But you gotta know three bonus tips. Bonus tip number one, turn the oven to broil for the last five minutes to get a brown, crispy top. Bonus tip number two, serve it hot. Not warm, hot, steaming, right out of the oven. Bonus tip number three, this makes about four servings, but if you're using an eight and a half by 11 pan, you can easily make a double batch because there's plenty of room. Now, for the full recipe, head on over to my website, lifeisnoyolk.com. You can type it into your browser or click the link below. And remember, this cauliflower au gratin is dairy free and it's low calorie, but it's still very rich. So resist the temptation to eat the entire batch. And of course, remember, life is no yolk. Mmm. Mmm. It is unbelievable. And when it's served out of this beautiful little thingamajig that I found in our lovely kitchen, it tastes even better. It's called a I guess it's called a ramekin. Uh, um, I believe it's called a ramekin.
And I don't know why it reminds me of Auntie Kay and Uncle Bruce's dinner for holidays, but it was probably the only place where we ever had potatoes that were rotten. So, hi, Auntie Kay.